When I brought Kinsley home, I was so happy because I always wanted a little girl and I knew I would have her one day and she was just like my princess. My first concern was how she always held her hands closed, like she never opened her hands. The doctor basically sat us down and told us that he knew that Kinsley had spinal muscular atrophy and that there was no cure for this disorder and that this is not just a kidney transplant or something we could just change. It's something where we're gonna have to decide whether we leave her there and they take care of her or we take her home and put her on hospice. Of course, it was just break down and cry. You know, what really, what can you say? You can't save her. He just, only thing was to just spend every waking moment she had left with us. You know, that was our main thing. When Kinsley passed away, I honestly feel like whenever you have something like that happen to you, it can either do one or two things. It can make you or it can break you. And it really broke me at first. I was really, really depressed at first, for the first few months. And then on down the road, you know, I started realizing that's not you know, what I wanted to do, and that's not who she would want me to be. If it wasn't for Kinsley, Chance wouldn't be where he was today. I was 20 weeks pregnant. I reached out to a physician at a children's hospital and told him our story, and he was really interested in helping us and being a part of it. About two weeks before Chance was born, I ended up getting a call saying Chance was going to be able to get the treatment. Chance was eight days old when he received his first dose. As Chance grew up, his first year was just amazing. I couldn't believe some of the things he was doing because my daughter only lived for seven months and she wasn't able to do anything. So to see him, you know, drinking his bottle and crawling around and playing with his toys and can actually, you know, he's vocal and all the things she wasn't, it really meant everything to me. Having the experience we had with our daughter and, you know, things just up in the air and not knowing what was gonna happen, we decided to name him Chance because we had a lot of people tell us that he would suffer, you know, and that we, sh we shouldn't be so selfish and we should just let him go. And I named her that because I wanted to prove to people that it was worth giving him a chance of life, and it was.